Shador Sanders calls JB, myself, out. And I said, Shador ain't him. He said, you cap clickbait. So explain what that means. I don't know what it means. He said, you, he said, this is you capping. Like you, you just talking shit. You lying. You know, you know, he basically saying, you know, he's him. Matt, let me start over. Should, let me translate what Shador said. Shador is saying this. Coach JB, you are a liar. You know what you're saying ain't right. You know what you're saying ain't true. This is just clickbait. You're posting this thumbnail. You're saying I ain't him because my name is big. I'm I'm trendy. I'm popular. And you know if you say that I ain't him, it's going to get your views up. This is all a lie. You, you don't believe it. In your spirit and your soul, you know I'm him. You know I'm Coach Prime's son. You know I'm one of the best quarterbacks in the country right now. You know I'm going first round next year. Stop the cap. Stop the lies. That's what Shador just said to you, JB, in so many words. And then what did I say? He must not know me. So basically what you said was, <laughs> I'm from Compton, homie. Like, I grew up with some real ones. I, I know I know, motherfuckers who I, – I was born throwing a football around, playing the league before you was even nutted out. I've been doing this. You wouldn't even thought of – do your history. Do your homework. Homie. Homie. Yeah. Buster. Yeah. Cuz. <laughs> Blood. I ain't a cut. I ain't a cut. Uh, all right. So, well, I'm not running nowhere. <laughs> I don't talk to kids, by the way. I don't have back and forth with kids. So, I'm not. Uh, that's why I kind of just kept it. I didn't even respond. I'm not going to respond because I don't go back and forth with kids. Um, I let his He's daddy do that. Oh, he got 21 years old. I mean, I wouldn't even let my 21 year old player talk to anybody. And talk shit. I wouldn't do it. You I wouldn't like social media, Jay. But no matter how much of a, no a coach you think you are, there's no way in hell you can keep See, that's other you players wrong. from that's not tweeting out what they want to tweet this out. This is JB. his daddy and his head coach. You're his daddy and head coach. And how can you tell me that he can't control his social media? See, that's the problem. Y'all allow it instead of coach it. You that's not watching you. every single individual tweet, Instagram post, Snapchat, yes, TikTok, can. and Facebook post 24-7 you don't know. and you don't every know. single player you is doing. Know. It's literally impossible. No, it's not. You don't know that your coaches used to monitor your shit because you're still in the social media era. I wasn't when I played. I my staff monitored every single post and tweet and every single thing from our kids. We all had our kids log in on huddle. Social medias went in there. Now, if they did a burner or some bullshit, go ahead. We'll find you eventually. But if it's your account and you got back back then, if you had weed socks, that was a big thing. Marijuana socks. They had them their socks on. I'm trying to get you a scholarship, not lose you fucking one. So. We monitored all social media, and every D1 monitors their kids' social media. If they're telling you that, that's fucking cap if they're telling you they don't because they do, and they can lose NIL deals. They can lose scholarships. They can lose other things for doing some stupid shit. You're telling me if a cat got a pistol waving it around on IG Live that it's okay. You're not monitoring it. Come on, JB. It's a what session. I'm saying is, you're not going to see Shador saying that's what a hat emoji. What I'm saying is, that is why, though, we monitor the small shit because of the reason we're going to monitor our kids' whole fucking roster because they do some stupid shit. I'm just telling you. I listen, I, I'm not chat. like, I understand y'all. Every coach in chat talking about we monitor social media. And they do. But I never said y'all didn't monitor. If everybody would listen to me, I didn't say you just didn't monitor. I didn't say you never looked. You never cared. We had, during camp, every year, we've had someone come in and talk to us about social media, what not to do, what you shouldn't do. I understand that. I'm saying it's not, at the same time, you have 100-some players on a football team in college. You cannot tell me that you guys are seeing every single post that all 100 players are making on every single social media platform. It's impossible to do that. It's like, like it's literally impossible. So I'm saying- You know they have trackers. Some shit would get left out is what I'm you saying. You don't get it. People have made these things for football programs, dog. I'm telling you. I wouldn't lie to you. I'm telling you. Yes, you can see every tweet. And then there's keywords that are tweeted out or Instagram or whatever that comes to the social media coach that's in charge, and he sees the – okay, so one word was used in a, in a post. And if that word was like a trigger word, then we pull up all the kids' posts, and now we see what he posted that day, and now we're like, oh, really? You posted that shit. 
It's not impossible, Latrell. Telling your ass that you're allowing it, Latrell. Your players getting over on your ass. So Look. just hold on, real quick before we go, just before we go, just before we go. So just for clarity, just, just for clarity. Game. I just put y'all on game right now. Just for uh, clarity, you, you had a coach. You had a coach that every single day he would spend about two to three hours, for whatever, and he would go one by one. So he'll start. He'll start at the top. Okay, Anthony Edwards, uh, uh, linebacker from Florida. Okay, let me go to his Twitter. Let me go scroll and see what he no, tweeted yesterday. Me okay. Let me go to it's Instagram, see what he did. Is that okay? All right, next. We got Anthony Moore. No, that's not how it works. That's all I'm saying, y'all. No, I'm, you're taking too long to explain it, and you're, you're bullshitting what I'm telling you. So what happens is we have a social media coordinator. That was the title of him, social media coordinator. What happens is every position coach has every single kid's tweet, Twitter's, IG, TikTok account, Correct. They have yep. all of them. That's a job title that I gave them. Each coach monitors their position. That position group tells the coordinator, hey, these are some things that popped across my feet or whatever. The cat has a program that we bought, types it in, and if Big Smitty's tweet that day was, fuck you, ho, bitch, it popped up. Now we pull him in and say, hey, dog, what the fuck you doing? And then – it starts to matriculate through our system to where all the cats tweets and Instagrams and shit keeps coming through as we get it through. It's linked to huddle, which is through the group text through our kids. So we can tell them there's a meeting, there's blah, 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 blah. And it's all linked together. It's, it's a real thing. But that's it's, only, so that's filtering words out. If a player didn't say whole bitch and you typed in whole bitch, but they said some other shit that you didn't nah. type in, then they could get away with it. Is all I'm Why saying. You not understand what I'm saying, Smitty. It's not about whole bitch. I'm just telling you, there's trigger words that are in the thing that's going to eventually pop up. Our coaches are are looking at each one of the positions. A running back coach may have eight to ten running backs, let's say, in, in spring. Right, right. Okay, that's feasible to handle. I'm going to find out there's a shitbird in there, real simple, out of ten dude. My O-line coach may have 20 O-linemen. And he has an assistant coach as well, obviously. And then you got a D-line coach who has an assistant as well. Those two have 15 to 20 D-linemen. Dog, it ain't as hard as you think, bro. I'm telling you. I hear you. I hear You're you. Doing it. I, I, I wasn't a coach, Alabama, so I don't know what y'all was doing. Imagine Alabama, Smitty, that has a hundred assistant coaches. It is happening. I'm telling you guys. Ball right. State has four coaches. I get it. But listen, those four coaches got to grind. Hey, Fuck uh, you. <laughs> hey, real quick. Uh Hey Chris, Chris, don't be telling me, don't be telling me what it is. I, I, I was in the, I was in the locker room. I did this shit. Don't be telling hey, me. Smitty, this is why I'm so respectfully, Chris. This is why I'm so critical though of Dion because Dion has big time resources now, big money. You are telling me you can't monitor your son's tweets? Get the fuck out of here. Well, why should he monitor the fact that he's defending himself against somebody who said he ain't him? He said that's cap. I'm not saying, I'm not saying he, he said that's cap is clickbait. Cap. I'm not saying monitoring that. See, you're missing the point. I wouldn't allow my kids. They're still kids at 21. I don't give a fuck. I'm the head coach. They're my kids. And this is your seed on top of your kid. Mm -hmm. I ain't letting you talk. Like, this motherfucker's been in huddles while Dion's shaking another grown man head coach's hand, looking at him like he's a fucking uh, a security guard, homie. Get your motherfucking ass up out of here. Yo, this is grown folk business. Take your little ass out of here. Your player and coach need to have a separator divider. It ain't fucking you're my homie just because you're my son. It would even be worse for me if I had my son, to be honest. This shit, I'm telling you, dog. Listen, I want him to ball. I'm not, I didn't, I didn't say he wasn't him because nah, you're shitty. I never said you're shitty. I said. I, I'm on record saying I was impressed some of the throws he's made, some of the things he's done. That doesn't mean I think you're the guy, first round, first pick. You're not him.